Imagine a flashlight beam in a fog of smoke. The light bounces back and forth between the smoke particles and is trapped. In the hot baby universe, a dense fog of electrons block the light from escaping. But as the universe continued to expand and cool, the electrons slowed down. Protons then grab these calmer electrons to form complete atoms of first hydrogen and then helium. The universe was suddenly much less crowded with electrons. The fog lifted and light was no longer trapped. It hurtled out across the universe, creating a blinding burst of light. Had we been there, we would have suddenly seen this opaque universe become transparent. Suddenly the fog would lift and we would see a flash of light coming from everywhere around us. It must have been a spectacular moment. Over time, this burst of light dimmed and cooled and became microwave radiation. It was this faint 13 billion year old microwave signal that Penzias and Wilson picked up on their antenna. What they heard was the quiet echo of the moment the universe formed the first atoms. It's really the light from the origin of the universe. We've got an old FM receiver. If you tune between channels, turn the knob, and it doesn't capture it and pop to a station. You go to a part where there's none, you hear a That's what we call noise. If you have a good radio set, one half of 1% of that is actually the sound of the Big Bang. And we can also see the moment when the first elements were created. If our television is not tuned to a station, a tiny fraction of the noise is radiation from 13.